top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Jack Septicai and welcome to Limbo. I played this game before a while ago and I really, I really, really liked it. Like this is one of the best indie little games out there. And I wanted to play it again just to put it up on my channel because I want this high quality game on my channel. So let's get right into it. I, it's been so long since I played it. Since it came out on PC, I played it like launch day, I got it, and I haven't played again since. So I kind of forget a lot of the puzzles that are in the game. So, let's just head off. Come on, little dude. I I feel so much for this little boy. <sighs> he goes through so much hardship in this game. Poor little dude. Let's go. Hup. Plus, he reminds me of myself. I have a, I have a big head. I have big doughy eyes, don't I? And I love running around when I was little, it's through the forest, through the jungles. I wish it was my first time playing through the game for the channel, but sadly it's not. I played it. I think I only played it once when it came out. I think I played it and finished it. Pretty sure. So I, I kind of know what to expect in some areas, and if I don't, then once it happens, I'll remember. So it's gonna be, it might be a bit of a fast playthrough. <sighs> Get my little boat here. I love, I love the audio in this game. It's one of the reasons why I love it so much. Apart from the amazing, like, art style here, I love just the two tones and. The kind of 2D, but it looks 3D at the same time. It's incredible. But the sound effects are what really sold this game for me. Like, even even when rocks come down and hit the wall in front of you. Oh, yeah, I need to use this boat. They hit the wall in front of you, and you can hear all the dust fall off the rocks. It's just, it's incredible to listen to. Also, it's very, it's very grotesque, this game. After a while your little dude starts to get mangled and fucked up in a lot of ways. And I actually, when he falls and dies on a bunch of spikes, I actually feel more for this little boy than I did for Lara Croft in any of Tomb Raider. And that's saying a lot. This guy has no personality, no anything really. You can't fool me, traps. I know your ways. I'm gonna fuck it up now and fall into one of them. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Just like that, oh, poor little dude. I made his head come off. Hell yep. Hell yep. Nope. Okay, stop trying to do it fast. Just fucking do it. Here we go, here we go, here we, here we, here we go. Jump. Good. Jump. Excellent. See, when you take your time and you do it right, you will do it right. Mm, dum dum dum. So yeah, there's not going to be a, a bunch of me wondering what to do and where to go. There might be later on, because I really forget a lot of the game later on. But right now I know pretty much what to do. I'm not going to do and get all the little eggs or the little white things, because there are a lot. To, there's a lot of them to get, and I can't even get them when I try, so I'm just not going to try right now. Oh, rock, rock, rock. So you can hear all the dust fall off it when it hits, hits the wall there. And it sounds incredible. It sounds tight. This little boy is also better at jumping and platforming than Lara Croft. And isn't that kind of her job? She's a Tomb Raider. I hear flies. Oh yeah, there's also some really questionable stuff in this later on. Oh, the grass even moves when you drag stuff across it. Didn't realize that before. Ah! Get up. Get up there, little boy. I might have to swing, actually. Look at his cool hair as well. It's like, I may be in limbo, I may be dead. I may be on the verge of the afterlife, but that's not to say I'm not going to use Brill Cream in my hair 
to make it look stylish and fashionable. You gotta look good in this afterworld. In this middle world. Down you go. Hop. There's nothing over that way except from what I remember is an egg thing. I don't even know if they're called eggs. I just assume they're eggs when you walk on them to make a little <laughs> sound. I don't need this anymore, do I? I might. Here we go. I'll use it anyway. Every little helps. Oh, is that copyrighted? That's a Tesco motto. Go, little dude, go. Don't drown. I do not want you to drown. Oh! Yeah. Making progress. It's such a scary forest to be in. Like, the trees are astronomically big. Oh, spider time? Yep. I hate this spider. This one creepy-ass spider. I hate spiders anyway. Huh? Come on, again. I need you to do it again. Stand there and look at it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, get over that. I might be making some jerky movements as well while I'm playing. Because I'm trying to... I'm really getting into it. Come on, leg. I know you want to stab me. Hey, but you're not going to get to. Because I'm going to chop your legs off. Go again. Is this right? Yes. Now this last leg is a bit tricky. Because it reaches further, and it's faster. Oh, so close. So close, but you're so far. Get it. There we go. See you later, Mr. Spider. I'll see you in a little bit. But for now, you are defeated. Trundle off down here. A little slidey slide. Wee -hee. Now, intro is done. We are officially into the game. Oh, it's cobweb time. Uh oh. Oh, slowing down. Slowing down. Can't move. Oh no, spider. Get away. <laughs> no! God damn it. It's okay. This is supposed to happen. Just relax. Don't... Don't get too scared for the little boy yet. It's just like Frodo and Shelob. Except I don't have... I don't have a Samwise Gamgee to get me out. I need to get out all on my own. Shake, rattle and roll. I say shake. Rattle and roll. Let's do the twist. So, so if if YouTube wasn't a dick with copywriting, I would so totally put some music in there. Some like cheesy, really old music, just to some of that twist music. <clears throat> okay, jumping is faster, but you got to be careful. You don't want to jump too far. Ah, like that. God damn it. Now I drowned inside my web. I do like though how the checkpoints are laid out in this game. Like you don't have to go too far. Do I make that? No. Okay, it's hard to judge my jump distance. I'm just gonna trot along here to the edge. It's hard to jump my judge my jump distance when I'm in a web. Ha! There we go. On our way to success. On our way out of limbo. Jump again. Whew. I don't know how he's supposed to be able to do this because he's virtually blind. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're safe. Even when I know what I'm doing, I still died a lot. That's not good. Come on, rock. Do you guys ever do this in real life? You get on like a hay bale? I used to always do it. We get hay bales a lot. 
when I was smaller, we used to stand on top of them. They used to be wrapped in polythene and plastic for the cows. And I used to get on top of them and just, like, roll along. But I was never very good at it. My brother was always better at it. And I used to fall off. But one time I was doing it and I rolled over my friend by mistake. Sorry, friend. Well, you're not a friend anymore. You won't even see this video, but... Just to ease my conscience, I am a good friend. Okay, we are webless, and we just face planted right into the ground. Good, you got about a 7 out of 10 for that dive. Get up. Trot along, get the web out of your hair. Now this is where things get a bit weird and nasty. Because that is another little boy. Or maybe, his legs look a bit weird, so it might be a doll or something, but... He just, like, totally died. His neck broke when that landed. Oh, cool, the web has gone off my head. The first time I played this, I died so much. I think I played... I think I played the demo on Xbox when it first came out. It was like up as far as where this spider gets you. Yeah! Whew. And the, I, I didn't play the full game until it came to PC. It's on PS3 now as well, isn't it? I think so. Uh oh! I forgot about that. Uh. And that music. Yeah, I get it. I'm dead. That music is crazy good. Like, it's amazingly good. Those really big, like, horn sounds. It's, it's awesome. It makes, the, it makes the sound, it makes the whole level sound absolutely huge. It makes all this sound so much bigger than what this little guy can actually do. A oh, fake spider. Piss off. I ain't, I ain't afraid of you. Can't remember how to pass it, though. Oh, I can just run under. Yeah. Run away, big guy. I want to mess with it. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> like, listen to those sounds. There's a lot of theories going on about this game, like, what it actually means. Oh, flaming wheels. Of what the story actually is, and what's happening to the little boy and everything in it. And a lot of it is really good. A lot of it is not what you'd expect. Like, if you really think about it, the game is a lot deeper than you'd think. Of course, it could all be wrong. The game mightn't be about all that stuff at all, but it really makes you think about what's happening in the game. Like, these are all the fears of the boy that are happening. He's afraid of bigger kids, he's afraid of spiders, and because he's a kid, he imagines all this stuff much bigger. Like, the forest is astronomically big, like, it's bigger than anything that would be in the real world. But he doesn't know that, he's a kid, he's in limbo, he's scared. I remember how to do this. Ah, but I failed it. The trial and error in this game is a bit wrong as well. Like, it's trial and error that you would never know until you fail, which is the wrong way to do trial and error. Trial and error is supposed to be all the information is given to you, but you're too stupid to understand, and that's why you fail. But in this game, all the information is not there. Like, you pass and you don't know... Trial and error, the proper way to do it, you should be able to pass it the first time without actually knowing properly. Like, even by fluke. But this game doesn't really do that. It's a bit harder than that. It's hard to explain. In my head, it makes sense. Spider's after me again. But I need his help. Come on, spider. Are you afraid of water? Are you afraid of the, of the Ishka? That's water in Irish, by the way. Sorry if you don't know. Okay, go over tree stump. Man, I'm so strong. Huh. And huh. 
Nope, 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 nope. And he's dead. Not really, though. Run, 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 run. He's back. But not anymore. He just lost another leg. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid spider. Very windy here. Scary wind. There's also different sections to the game. We're in a forest now, you start to come into kind of an industrial place later. Which I don't really know what they symbolize. I'm thinking in my head right now what the game actually means since I last played it. After reading all the theories about it. Spider's back. <laughs> and those kids are afraid of him. But he only has one leg now. And he can't do much with it. Oh, he can! He can stick me right in the ass! Oh, goddamn spider. I'll get you. No, 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 no! I walked too close. Do not fly too close to the sun, Icarus. <sighs> okay, I can do it. Come on, you know you want me. I'm a sweet, tender little boy. You want to eat me. No, 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 no! Yeah, give me that leg! Give me that leg, I want it! Yeah, you did. I like how the spider doesn't even have a face, but you can tell that he's really hairy and ugly. Art direction is phenomenal. Have you guys played this? If you haven't played it, definitely just go out and buy that shit straight away. Awesome game. Ugh, white blood. Up we go. There's one section in this game that is my utmost favorite. And it's just, it's one flash of a second in the game. And I don't even know why it's my favorite, but it's amazing. I'll let you know when it comes up. Get away, bird. It's my box. Uh, uh. Yep, I'm a fat ass. What can you do? Hmm. Can't remember what's next. Can't remember at all what's next in any parts of this. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we've left the forest now, I think. We're heading on something else. Those little bugs there are a sign of what's to come, which is not good things. And that's why. The mu kick ass music again. And this is one of the parts that is kind of really questionable and really sort of weird and scary because. I have to use these bodies of dead kids to accomplish my victory. Literally, I'm crawling over the bodies of people that came before. I'm sure there's like a saying for that. But, like, this game is not for kids. It, m it may seem like it is, but it is not. Those little bugs are the death of everybody. Oh. I'm safe. I'm okay. I think I'm gonna get one of those bugs soon. Ah! I can't remember the sequence. Yeah, shit. Now I can. This one, the button in the middle, is solid. This next one, the button in the middle, is not solid. You have to remember that going that way. And you have to remember this coming back. Because those kids are not gonna remember. Because they don't know. One down, two down. Come on, dude. Come get me. Like, that is some sick shit. That is... The sound effects are spot on, too. That's really... Oh, such gut-wrenching sounds. 
There's dead kids everywhere. They're all killing each other, too. Some of them gang up on you, but most of them are all just killing each other. Oh, I know this puzzle. I kind of can't remember how to do it. Oh, I can. I can. I remember. You know why? Because I'm awesome at this game. Even though I've died at all the easiest parts. I I'll do this first time. I am determined. Go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go. Grab it. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Gonna get a little swing on this. Go! No, 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 yes! Told you I'd do it first time. You know why? Because Jack Septicai is amazing. Scurry away, little dude. It's not your time yet. It's not my time yet either. I'm not ready to go to the afterlife. Hmm, I hate these bugs. They get in your head, and they force you to go a certain direction. But when you get into sunlight, they burn and make you turn back around. I can still jump and everything, and I can slow myself down like that, but I can't walk backwards anymore. So it's basically forwards all the way. But those dudes eat them. So this is what you do. You get burned, you turn back around, you get this box. Then you do this, and you jump. And they snatch it right off your head. And you are safe to progress. Yeah, on our way, little boy. I'm gonna give this little boy a name. What do you guys want his name to be? Tell me. Okay, I'm gonna leave this video here because this is my favorite part. And I don't want to show it to you guys yet. I'm gonna leave it for the next video. So, check out that for a cliffhanger, yo. But thank you for watching. If you guys want to see more Limbo, I will definitely continue on the playthrough. It's not a very long game. It's a very, it's a very short game, but it's a very good game. And I think I can knock it out pretty fast. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Limbo. And let me know what you want this guy's name to be. Give him a name. We have to think of a cool name for him for next time. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,